one day somebody does something unspeakable to someone else, to someone you hardly knew, man, you do something about it, because you can. Mm. Because it's who you are? Mm. Mm. And you've always been. Story is brought to us from WTNH out of Stamford, Connecticut. Now, this one um, involves Officer Zachary Lockwood, who was driving his police cruiser and struck a vehicle driven by Reverend Tommy Jackson, who's a very beloved figure in Stamford community. He went out to retrieve his mail and he ended up being struck by Zachary. Attorney Darnell D. Crossland, representing the Jackson family, expressed the profound impact of the incident, likening their daily experience to a recurring nightmare. And that's usually what happens when you lose somebody. Yeah, it's just everyday memories. Lockwood now faces one count of misconduct with a motor vehicle, as detailed in the recently obtained arrest warrant. He turned himself in and was released pending a court hearing. You hear that? One count of misconduct with a motor vehicle, not vehicular manslaughter. <clears throat> so he strikes somebody with his car, they die, he's released on bond. And again, I for those who know who the Justice 8 are, well now they're the Justice 7, because one's been released. They're still no bail. And all they're accused of is, is pepper spraying someone and uh, well, I missed other things, but I think this is a little worse. I digress. I'm sorry. Let me step off my soapbox. The warrant sheds lights on the events leading up to the fatal collision, uh, despite being advised by both a dispatcher and another officer to proceed with caution. Lockwood reportedly traveled at high speed. Moments before the incident, Lockwood announced his intention to respond with a Code 3, the most intense police code over a phone call with another officer. Despite warnings, state police said the decision to escalate the situation resulted in tragedy, horrific tragedy. And their family attorney saying it wasn't a mistake, it was reckless. Crossland, who's the attorney, said they, this guy took a deadly motor vehicle and prepared held it through the streets of Stamford at 65 miles per hour when told not to for a non-emergency call. I feel that, and the family feels this is homicide. It is. It's vehicular homicide, vehicular manslaughter. Following the collision, Lockwood rushed to Jackson's aid, attempting CPR in a desperate attempt to save him. Witnesses recounted the frantic scene with Jackson's wife emerging from their home to find her husband injured critically injured. In a heartbreaking moment, she asked the officer if he was looking for the person who hit her husband. According to the warrant, Lockwood responded, I did. I hit him. So now the family wants justice. Um, and they said all the uh, details of this are continuing to unfold. Of course, it's an ongoing investigation. That's their line for not releasing information. But, you know, one witness at the scene told investigators the officer was apparently heard saying, come on, stay with me, as he tried to save him. And I don't know if that's, I don't know, mitigating or what. But the bottom line is, this guy's being, um, you know, charged with misconduct in a vehicle. Misconduct. Misconduct is if you run a stop sign and bang someone's tailgate and say oh sorry dude or whatever right this is vehicular manslaughter 